What's up, YouTubers? This is your boy, Romel. I'm gonna show you how to replace your DJI Spark gimbal motor replacement. Here's the motor that I just bought, so stay tuned and watch me how I do it step by step. Okay, on this one, I am using a precision screwdriver. I am using a T6. Uh, it looks like a star, so make sure you remove all six screws at the bottom of your uh, DJI Spark. Okay, on the next step, let's open the charging port. Be careful when opening it. And then remove the cover. Set it aside. Be careful removing all the sticky back foam paddings you will need to remove the metal right angle piece to expose the connectors that connect to the camera to the main board these are hidden under foil foam tape under this L-shaped piece. Take your time releasing the plugs as they are fragile. Remove all four screws that are connected to the motherboard. Remove two black screws Unplug two connectors at the bottom of your spark unplug the connectors that's connected to the motherboard do it very carefully as you don't want to break your connectors and the ribbon cable
now on this one you have to remove the back foam padding this is for your uh, spark front facing sensor so be careful do it very slowly There should be two more connectors on the right hand side of your uh, blower. Uh, remove that one too, do it slowly and very gently. Now let's move on to the front facing sensor. There will be two screws that we have to remove. Okay, now we have to remove the front facing sensor. Pull it out. Be careful, do not drop it. Place it aside. And let's try moving the motherboard. Oops, I missed one more connector. No wonder I can't move this motherboard out. There you go. Now it's out. Set it aside. Remove four screws that holds the gimbal camera. Okay, now slowly move all the ribbon cable and connectors and try to remove the gimbal assembly very slowly. Okay, there's two small screw behind a brown ribbon cable. This two small screw holds the gimbal motor. So try to be careful not to tear the ribbon cable and just do your best to in removing that two little screw. Now the gimbal assembly is easy to be removed. Remove two screws on the side of the camera. Okay, try to pry 
the plastic piece that covers the connector inside the camera so after prying that plastic piece that covers the connector try to pry the connector do it very gently okay now after prying the connector there should be one two three screws that's holding the camera and the motor Okay, I'm gonna speed this up for a little bit. It took me a while to remove this two-piece uh, plastic top and bottom part of the gimbal assembly. So try to pry the top cover. okay now the hard part is done the easy part is just basically prying the motherboard of the camera make sure you pry it going up pull it up very slowly and you'll see some plastic residue that holds the camera so try to clean it up a little bit you know so on this one basically after removing the camera assembly with the motherboard so get your new uh, motor and put the camera back in snugly and make sure it it stays there After ensuring that we installed everything correctly, we can now start putting the assembly back. Put the top cover first. 